Hey guys, Anthony here from the Faculty of Apps and today I want to show you just how easy it is to share one or all of your passwords with friends and family. If you're looking to share your Wi-Fi password, I'll show you that too at the end of the video. But let's start by opening up settings and scrolling down to passwords. Here is where you'll find all of the passwords for your online accounts. If you just want to share the one password, you simply choose your account from the list and here in the top right corner of the screen, you'll see the share icon. Apple uses AirDrop and iCloud Keychain to share passwords securely. So if you don't see the person you wish to share your password with, go back a few screens to your iCloud settings and check that Keychain in iCloud is enabled. You should also check that you have AirDrop enabled, which you can do by clicking on General followed by AirDrop. AirDrop and iCloud Keychain need to be enabled on both the sender and receiver's iPhones to be able to share passwords. The sender and receiver also need to have each other's Apple ID listed as an email address in their contact details. Once you have these settings enabled, it's just a matter of tapping on your contact to AirDrop them your password. They'll be prompted to accept the AirDrop and the password will automatically save to their own list. So that's how to share an individual password, but sharing all your passwords is just as easy. With iOS 17, you can now create shared password groups. If you've recently upgraded to iOS 17, it's likely you'll see this prompt in the settings app under passwords. If you don't, you can just as easily click on the plus icon and choose new shared group. Clicking on the plus icon or getting started will bring up this page where you can add the people you wish to share your passwords with. As with sharing individual passwords, all parties will need to have each other listed as a contact and include each other's Apple ID as an email address. You'll also both need to have Keychain enabled in iCloud and have iOS 17 installed. It's then just a matter of typing the names of your friends or family members and tapping add to include them in the group. Once you've added everyone, give your group a name and click on create to complete the process. Then it's a matter of choosing all the account passwords you wish to share with the group. Once selected, tap move to add these accounts to your group folder. To finish up, you can send an iMessage to the group notifying them. They then just need to accept the invitation and the password group will be automatically added to their keychain on all their devices. Sadly, my little MacBook laptop is too old to support password groups, but it'll work on all my other devices. Your group members will then have the option to share their own accounts with the group too. Finally, if you are looking to share your Wi-Fi password rather than one of your online accounts, then all you need to do is stand beside the person you wish to share your Wi-Fi password with. They will then need to go to their Wi-Fi settings as per normal and tap on the Wi-Fi network. You'll then be prompted to share your password with them. Tap share and they will automatically be connected to your Wi-Fi without having to manually type in the password. Very cool. So that is how to share passwords with family and friends on iPhone. If you found the video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hitting subscribe for lots more quick tips on all your Apple devices. And here's an easy way to send encrypted files on your Mac or an easy way to send map directions. Until next time, my name is Anthony. Thank you very much for watching.